Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. And it's my pleasure today to share with you pieces of my dissertation, my PhD dissertation, under the title of Moroccan Students' Perception of Civic Literacy and Social Justice, Project Citizen. I'm from Morocco, there where I worked as a high school teacher of English, as a foreign language. And then I came to Boise, Idaho for a two-year program, Masters in Education. And that paved the way to my journey here in Laramie, Wyoming. Now, as you can see here, two pieces about my research are civic literacy and social justice, with a focus of one program or educational curriculum, Project Citizen in Morocco. I will share with you some pieces about civic education, Project Citizen, why it is, its benefits, and then how that paved the way for an idea to conduct a research on imp of empirical research on Project Citizen in Morocco in terms of significance of the study, methods, results, and implications. Now, generally speaking, civic education is strongly related to field work and real life problems that students in general or citizens can interact with. Some people would say that civic education is engaging students in experiential active learning. And I think this is really important because for students to have an overall full experience in civic education, they need to have active citizenship, active learning, and experiences that can help them grow as good citizens. Also, when we talk about civic education, we generally talk about three things. Civic knowledge, civic skills, and civic dispositions. Civic knowledge, for example, is all that knowledge that students or any person engaged in civic education projects can learn. And here we're talking, for example, about that learning about the president, about the king, about the kingdom, and about countries, about the systems of voting, taxing, legislature, etc., etc. So all this falls under civic knowledge, and here we're referring to the head. The second piece is a component of civic education is civic skills, which may be all those things and skills competencies that we want our students to be able to do as an outcome of civic education experiences. For example, we really want our students in schools to be able to summarize, to critique, to argue, to communicate respectfully, to etc, etc. These are part of the skills. The last component is civic comp dispositions, which is all of those values or attitudes that students should be able to develop as part of their experience. We want students to be able to to show respect for others, to, show, to accept differences in opinions, and also to, to know how to coexist. These are part of those dispositions. Now, governments generally want to pass that civic education knowledge or experience through several programs. We know that several of these programs include the United Nations, model of the United Nations, which is very common in the US and is spread into other countries. But one key project or curriculum is called Project Citizen, which is an American program that started here in the US in 1995. And then the idea was very appealing to other countries. That's why this idea was borrowed by other foreign countries and with Project Citizen being implemented in over 80 countries, including Morocco, my country. Now, my study is an investigation into this curriculum in terms of its effects on one, civic education, growth in students, and second, their commitment to social justice. But before we move into the details of this design, the design I used, I want to share with you some pieces about Morocco. Morocco is a country that is located in northwest Africa, 10 miles from Spain. To the north, we have the Mediterranean Ocean, and to the west, we have the, there is the, the Atlantic Ocean. The capital of Morocco is Rabat, and the economic capital is Casablanca, where I am from. And then, some pieces about educa educationally speaking, 72% of Moroccans are literate. Now, back to Project Citizen, this is a community problem-based curriculum, which means that students always need to choose a community problem to work on, identify it, examine the solutions, come up with their own solution, and then create an action plan to share with the community members and officials. What you see is a problem we had in one of the middle schools where they had 
their well drought. So their well, the school well got dry and what students needed to do is they need to examine the solutions that they had which was the local government would, would, would send them a tank of water every week which was good but they needed to do something to be autonomous of an independent of the local authorities so that's why these students came up with two ideas. First one was either to dig a new well in the school and the second idea was to keep the same well which you can see in the picture but deepen it. Of course the second option was more profitable that's why the students went for, for the second option. Now the students needed to find ways to implement their program. That's why they came up with, they contacted one bank in, in, um, in Casablanca, managed to get at least $3,000. They also campaigned within their city and school and managed to get extra money. And now the school is able to water its grass and green spaces independently. Now, I think that this, this research is really important because it gives information about the Middle East, North Africa region in general and Morocco specifically. The second piece about the importance of this research is that it gives insights into social justice, which is a concept which is still new into that part of the world. Now, one of my questions was, how does participation or engagement with project citizen affect Moroccan students, civic literacy and commitment to social justice? And this was one quantitative question. I also had other qualitative ones, but I'm, I will stick to this one. Now, what I did for this quantitative part is I designed a survey with open-ended questions, 17 statements with four categories civic knowledge, civic skills, civic dispositions, and social justice. These statements ranged between one, being strongly disagree, two, disagree, three, agree, and four, strongly agree. So it was a Likert scale system, and four or five statements were reverse coded, which means that they were phrased in the negative. Now, results of this study show that overall, for example, at the level of civic knowledge, Students mentioned that because of Project Citizen, I became aware that elected officials need to be concerned about their citizens' problems. The result was 3.23 on a four-point scale, which is high. Another example about civic skills is because of Project Citizen, I developed research skills that I can use as an adult with 3.4 49, which is also high given its four-point scale. And as I said before, there were four or five items which were reverse coded. One of them is this, number 12, which said, because of Project Citizen, I did not learn how to present confidently before an audience. The students disagreed with this statement and the result was 1.39, which is also high and positive speaks positively to Project Citizen. As far as civic dispositions category is, con is concerned, one example is I learned to support a social cause that I believe in after completing Project Citizen with 3.50 as, as a mean score. And finally, the social justice piece was also positive in terms of the students, 70 students, responses. And one example, for example, is one example is I, feel the need, I now feel the need to contribute to positive social change in my community after or because of Project Citizen with 3.24 mean score. Overall, the statement about the overall impression was also high with 3.71. Now, to conclude, as you can see here, the, ra the range of the students' responses was usually between 3.23 or 24 up to 3.50, which says that Project Citizen did help Moroccan students to grow civically and also develop commitment to social justice. As I said before, there were two pieces about open-end questions. One of them was about Project Citizen in terms of its effect on students, what it meant to students. Some students said that my experience with Project Citizen taught me that I have rights and that I need to strive for these rights and I need to reach them. Maybe this is part of the civic disposition that students develop. At the level of social justice, one of the students said, because of Project Citizen, I learned how to defend or advocate for a cause, and I, be I now believe more in helping any person in need. 
As you can see, these responses were all positive and favorable to students' participation in Project Citizen. Now, as two implications and as a Moroccan citizen belonging to the Middle East North Africa region, a person who understands the culture, the language, and the expectations that ministries of education have in that part of the world, I suggest two things. One, because Project Citizen is still under, it, it still takes place through extracurricular activities. I believe that Project Citizen or any civic educational program that has the same goals should be required in schools, which means that students in Morocco, all of the students in Morocco should be able to learn about civic education there through textbooks. The second element is about social justice, which I believe is still gaining ground in the Middle East North Africa, but not, but not as high as it should be. That is why I believe textbooks in public education in Morocco should include content about social justice, activities, concepts, and all that knowledge about this concept so that students can learn about it in an explicit way. Because the problem in Morocco, for example, in other countries in the Middle East North Africa region is that they take it for granted that people know about social justice, which is not true. So this study was made possible because of the generous support of several offices at the University of Wyoming and in Morocco, including the Center for Global Studies Research, Global Area Studies, Cheney Study Abroad Grant, Social Justice Research Center, College of Education, El Bogan Center for Teaching and Learning, Associated Students of the University of Wyoming, and Vice President for Student Affairs Office. And in Morocco, I need to thank the Moroccan Center for Civic Education and all the participants who helped me collect my data. To all these offices, big thank you.